Hello and welcome to week four, unit one, Open SAP course, Environment Management and Introduction. My name is Hitesh Patel. I'm a product manager at SAP, responsible for SAP S4 HANA Environment Management. In this unit, you will learn about common environmental issues we face. You will also learn what governments around the world are doing to protect the environment. You will learn what organizations and companies must do to comply with such government mandates. And lastly, how SAP solution can help comply with such mandates. Let's first understand some key environmental issues that we face. You must have heard of climate change, in other words, global warming. Greenhouse gas emissions are one of the key contributors to the climate change. Combustion of fossil fuels is one of the key um, generators of greenhouse gas emissions. Introduction of contaminants into air, water, land is another key environmental issue for air, water, and land pollution. And lastly, resource depletion. We only have so many resources, natural resources, air, water, land, that we can use. Let's understand first how are these key environmental issues being dealt with and what's being done to protect our environment and ecosystem. First, environmental protection. What is it? It is the act of protecting the environment by an individual organization or a government entity. Governments enact environmental policies and regulations and in some cases issue license to operate or permits to protect the environment. Organizations, in turn, have to make sure that they comply with such mandates. And they do that by making sure that they are following the requirements stated in the regulations and the policies. Such as, they may be asked to monitor the operating parameters of their business. For example, the amount of water being used or the amount of air pollution being brought out, the amount of chemicals being used. They may have to perform validations and calculations of their environmental outputs, such as the amount of air emissions they put out. And they have to produce compliance reports in a timely manner and report them back to the government agencies. Around the globe, you can see pretty much every country has some sort of environmental legislation to protect the environment. This by day are growing, they're getting more stringent to ensure that the environment and the ecosystem are protected. If you look at the US, there is many legislation such as the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Solid Waste Act, all of this have the same premise of protecting the environment. On top of the regulations, there are internal and external stakeholders that request environmental performance data. For example, investors may request a company to report their environmental performance in their sustainability reports. Your business partners or companies that you do business with may ask that you get an ISO 14001 certification. ISO 14001 is an environmental management systems certification from an international body called ISO. Additionally, they may have pressure from internal departments of the company to ensure that the risk of non-compliance is managed and that the brand image is preserved. Knowing that there are many environmental legislations, and that there are internal and external stakeholders that are demanding environmental performance data. This poses a lot of challenges to an organization. What are those challenges? Well, first of all, 
They have to follow all requirements that are stated in the regulations or their permits and licenses, and these could run into thousands. They have to make sure that they are aware of these changes, or if there are new legislations that are being put in place, they have to know about them. They have to make sure that they, in a timely manner, fulfill all their compliance obligations and requirements. They also must ensure that whatever data they need to collect or they have to calculate for reporting on their environmental reports is done in a timely fashion, in an accurate fashion, and in a very auditable manner. And lastly, holistically, they have to make sure that the whole process of complying with such mandates is auditable, transparent, and is consistent, not just within that one location, but across all of their locations. Managing compliance requirements, you know, stemming from government mandates or from internal external stakeholders is very complex and time consuming. There are many advantages for softwares being leveraged to manage your environmental compliance process. First of all, you have now the ability of deploying a transparent, auditable compliance business process. Software could have abilities for having a powerful calculation engines that can help you accurately quantify the amount of environmental outputs they could also have pre-built emission factor libraries. Such libraries will ensure that the emissions that you calculate are consistent, not just across that one location, but across the, all the locations of the business. You also have the ability to integrate your business process into other departments, such as accounting, maintenance, finance, HR, Softwares also provide you the ability of automated workflows and notifications. This ensures that all your compliance obligations are done in a timely manner and completed. Softwares can also provide you an ability to monitor your environmental thresholds in a proactive manner. You can have warning limits by which the systems can tell you when you are approaching a certain threshold of a pollutant. And lastly, the softwares can help you report your data in a very transparent and a timely manner. SAP Environment Management is just such a solution. SAP Environment Management is a solution offered as part of the Environmental Health and Safety Solution offering at SAP. So what is the key objective of this solution? Well, there are two main objectives. One is to help organizations reduce their environmental impact. How does this do that? Well, it helps you first quantify what your environmental outputs are thereby giving an opportunity to an organization to reduce its environmental impact. And secondly, maintaining compliance with comprehensive environmental management process deployment. What are some of the key capabilities of this product? Well, it helps you manage your air, water, and waste legal compliance. Secondly, it helps you calculate and aggregate your emissions while fostering proactive data transparency and monitoring. It also helps you detect proactively thresholds or deviations that you may have to the thresholds in your systems and being able to investigate such exceedances and tracking follow-up activities. What are some of the key benefits? Well, it helps you reduce your risk of environmental non-compliance and penalties. Secondly, it helps you maintain your license to operate. And third, it gives you a better engine to calculate your environmental footprint and provides you complete accuracy and transparency in that process. So I hope you have learned in this unit what are some of the key environmental issues that we face, 
how are governments around the world protecting the environment? What do organizations have to do to comply with government mandates to protect the environment? And how SAP Solution Environment Management can help you with that. In the next upcoming unit, you're going to learn in more detail how SAP Environment Management will help you with producing accurate inventories for air emissions management, greenhouse gas management, how can it help you manage your wastewater management process as well as your waste management process. Thank you and goodbye.